British weather is notoriously wet and unpredictable. It may be lovely and sunny now, but it could rain at any point. So today we're going to show you how to make a simple tool to try and forecast the weather, a barometer. For this you're going to need a glass jar, a balloon, scissors, elastic bands, a drinking straw, tape, card and a pencil. Flatten and cut one end of the straw to make a point and cut your balloon in half like this. Stretch the balloon over the mouth of the jar using the elastic bands to secure it in place, trapping the air inside. Tape the straw onto the balloon lid a couple of centimetres from the edge. Tape a sheet of card onto the outside of the jar. Place your barometer outside, under cover and away from direct sunlight. Draw a line on the card where the tip of the straw is and make a note of the weather. Come back the next day to see if the straw has moved up or down. Keep making lines and notes on what the weather is doing. So what's happening here? Why does the straw move up and down as the weather changes? Well, it's all to do with differences in air pressure. If the pressure outside the jar is lower than the pressure inside the jar, then the air inside the jar pushes up on the balloon, causing the straw to point down. If the air pressure outside the jar is higher than inside the jar, then the air outside pushes down on the balloon, causing the straw to point up. So observing changes in high and low air pressure is essential to making predictions about the weather. Air pressure changes as the air warms or cools. This thermal camera shows us that hot air rises and cold air sinks. So areas of warm, rising air have low pressure and when the air cools, it sinks to create areas of high pressure. As regions of high pressure move into low pressure, winds swirl around the earth as it turns on its axis. Watch what happens to your barometer as the air pressure changes. Do you notice any trends in your results? In reality, our weather is part of a really complex global system. Meteorologists need to measure temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind speeds, ocean currents, loads of things. They use around half a million observations requiring powerful supercomputers and billions of mathematical calculations. So it's no wonder that sometimes the weatherman gets it wrong. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it, or click on my barometer to subscribe. Watch how to make your own hot air balloon in this video. And if we've inspired you to try your own science at home, send us your science videos on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Just do it like this. <laughs> <laughs>